ATR, 50% Airbus and 50% Leonardo, the Italian company. So we have subsections made in Italy and subsections made in France. And on this uh, little point where you can see that uh, in France we are producing uh, the wings and the engine requirements and uh, in Italy the fuselage, the thing. Uh, the engines are made in Canada by Patty Ripley and the blades in France. So perhaps uh, uh, we are doing the work sharing in between huh? Leonardo and Airbus. And we are transporting the fuselage from Napoli by boat, Napoli to Barcelona and then Barcelona to Tiglania. By and that's what I'm having from Bolton. So, 1981, our first family, ATR-42, and the first delivery in 1985, and then we launched the ATR-72, and the, a different version. The last one, of course, the 600. Uh, uh, we are uh, assembling about 80 a year. And we need to assemble an ATR 10 weeks. 10 weeks to the full assembly process. 10 weeks? Yeah, 10 weeks. And with the production, it's about one. But it was more than the year we need 10 weeks. So we look here. We have a very large building of about 40,000 square meters. And we have two parts, the north and south. So we are just uh, here and we're going to walk uh, towards uh, this part where we are assembling and where we're having three positions, 47, where we are having the fuselage and we are doing all the wiring of the fuselage. Then the aircraft go to this position where we're adding the wings and uh, the VTP, HTP, and then here we are adding the, the engines. So we have the full aircraft, and then we will go to the cabin furnishing area, where we're going to enter an aircraft fully equipped, almost ready to be delivered. Of course, we also have to do the painting, but the painting is done on a specific hangar, which is not inside. But we're doing everything here. We're going to walk and step by step. We're going to see the different steps of the process. You can see the difference in the here and here. Okay?
writing the MSA, which is the order number. from Italy, from Puglia, Puglia, the south of Italy. And uh, here we're going to have two red box and then we'll lift up and see on top of the fuselage that we're out. That's this is a subsection. It's like a little bit like a Lego. So here, that's where the fuselage is arriving. We are positioning the fuselage and position the fuselage. Head to tail. Head to tail. One, this, not head here, and to the one, head. Okay. Okay. Hello. Look, uh, how beautiful the life. So this aircraft arrived two days ago, uh -huh. and in two days we have all done. Well, look, all this wiring we done in the cockpit. The cockpit is almost finished, and we have people two shift one. Uh, let's see, morning shift. We came back from the lunch break, and now we are. We have three people in the cockpit and on this front part and then we have people working from the cockpit to the safety part and then from the centre you know, to the, the airport. It's very urbanised, you know. We are working as, as it's a European, mm -hmm. Italian and uh, Airbus. We have Italian, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, here we are in the Italian field. So they are working from the way to the door huh? uh -huh. so we have one team working on the top here and one team working on the part here so it's very hard and hard. they are not they are working together but not uh, no problem because it's not so so large but uh, they that's for the isolation uh -huh. isolation that's for the engines We are in the still a cabriolet, not no no wheels. Yeah. So you see, we will put the wheels on top here, and you have this reinforcement bars before we put in the wheels. And uh, you remember the scene? The I, I've been showing you for the fitting, you know. You remember yeah. on the other side? Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we are fitting, huh? Yeah. Here, the two, four, six, eight. Okay.
27, 45, 25. Okay? Second position. Voila. We already have been taking the weight. And we can even lift. We're having finished here for the toilet, made in France, that will be for the luggage, that is from the cabin crew.